I am Elizabeth K. Mahone, and I am here in beautiful New York City in the heart of the theater district, also the area known as Hell's Kitchen for uh, those of you who know this area. Um, this is actually one of my favorite areas of New York. Um, back in the day, Hell's Kitchen was a heavily Irish immigrant area. It was where the Westies, the Irish gang, used to hang out. But now, of course, it's, uh, once we known, it's gentrified a little bit with all the tall buildings. So it is now known as Clinton after one of the governors of New York State, DeWitt Clinton. There's a park that's nearby that's named after him. What I love about this area, it's actually, um, one of my favorite periods of history is in American history is the Gilded Age, which was um, a time of extreme wealth as well as extreme poverty, sort of like now, where you had huge Fifth Avenue mansions and um, also huge tenements. The Tenderloin District, Hell's Kitchen was also another uh, poor area of New York. And then you had the Rockefellers and the Astors and their huge chateau-like mansions. You had uh, people like uh, Consuela Vanderbilt who married the Duke of Marlborough. Her family lived in a beautiful chateau in Fifth Avenue. So uh, that would probably be my favorite period of American history. And your favorite topic? Um, my favorite topic, um, well one of the things that I really love to do is I am a huge fan of ballroom dancing and that was long before Dancing with the Stars came on the screen. I was a huge fan of movie musicals from the 1930s with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers and later Gene Kelly, that whole sort of elegant dancing cheek to cheek type of dancing. So I take ballroom dancing classes in foxtrot and waltz and rumba and cha-cha, so that's one of my favorite things to do. If you could meet one person living or dead, who would it be? Oh, if I could meet one person living or dead, that's a really tough one. But I would have to say that it would probably be Victoria Woodhull. Victoria Woodhull, not many people know who she is now, sadly, but Victoria Woodhull in the 19th century, she was one of the first women to have a brokerage firm on Wall Street. She and her sister, Tennessee Claflin, also ran a newspaper, which uh, introduced the United States to authors like George Saul. They also reprinted the entire book of Karl Marx's Das Kapital. She was also the first woman to run for president in 1872. She lost, sadly, but she did run. She ran on a platform of free love. She also, at the time, which was unusual, uh, had a idea of what eventually became Social Security. But she was an intriguing woman. She came from nothing, from rural Ohio, from a family of itinerant um, con men, if you were. She and her sister worked as uh, mediums. In fact, that's how they got their start in New York. They were Cornelius Vanderbilt's medium. They ran seances where they got in touch with his mother and in return, he gave them stock tips. So that would be probably the one person if I could have to my house for dinner would be Victoria Wood. Okay. Do you want to say anything else? I am a huge history geek, and one of the things that I love about living in New York is that there is history on every corner. All you have to do is look for it. And um, sometimes you see all these tall modern buildings, and you know you don't see the history. But if you if you look for it and you look for the plaques, or it's here. It's just all around us. We're surrounded by history everywhere. And that's one of the things I love about my city. Great.